Level Earth Observer is probably one of the most active anti-space content creators out there. He pumps out video after video after video trying to deny that space exists. And recently he's found some apparently rare moon landing footage which, wait for it, embarrasses space fans. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tinfoil Tuesday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin with today's video, a massive thank you to the sponsors Type AI. Powered by the ChatGPT API, Type AI is a keyboard extension app that works seamlessly on any platform or app on your phone. With Type AI, you no longer have to worry about typos grammar mistakes, or finding the right words to express yourself. You can chat with AI on your keyboard, check grammar and spelling, translate in real time, generate automatic replies to any message, make AI complete your texts, or you can paraphrase or change the actual tone of the text too. And with Type AI Premium, you can get unlimited use. Now, I've been using Type AI for a couple of weeks now, and it's honestly brilliant. There are a couple of features that I love. The email writer, for example, is just the best. All I have to do is tell the app what my email is about and pick the style I want to write it in and type AI will do the rest. And also the tone changer tool is great as well. If I'm responding to a WhatsApp message or a text, for example, and I want to change the tone of my message, I simply tap the tone changer button, pick the tone I want, and then type AI will change it for me. It's so good, honestly, it's scary. All you gotta do is click the link in the description box for a free trial of the Type AI premium version. Right, back to today's video and Level Earth Observer, who thinks he's found some rare moon landing footage which busts the whole thing wide open. Let's see, shall we? Take it away, Elio. Today I'm looking at some rare footage from Apollo 12. This footage is not only rare, but also extremely revealing, as we're about to see. Bear with me. So I've got two clips, both involve the LEM, and both are rather revealing to say the least. The first clip shows the LEM supposedly descending filmed from the lunar orbiter. Okay, so it looks like we've got some footage here from Apollo 12, I believe. This was launched on the 14th of November 1969, just four months after Apollo 11 landed on the moon. And I've got to say, it all looks fine so far. In this clip, as we're about to see in a minute, we get scale issues. The special effects department kind of made a bit of a boo-boo as regards the size of the spacecraft and, of course, the size of the moon. And, of course, as a result of that, kind of give the game away. And then in the second clip, if that wasn't bad enough, and of course we know they used models back in the early days of NASA to sell this silly lie. But in the second clip of the same supposed spacecraft here as it's returned from the moon and has come back to dock with the orbiter, we have a model malfunction. If that really was the case and NASA were using models like you say and it's had a malfunction, would NASA really publish the video? You don't think someone would have said, oh, hang on, hang on a minute, we're trying to trick everyone, so let's not publish that, shall we? Really a bad mission, this Apollo 12. I can't believe I didn't catch these two before. Now, I've seen the model malfunction before. I don't know if it was the same mission, but this extra footage we're going to see here with the scale issues as the LEM supposedly descends to the moon. I, 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 I just love this old footage. So let, let's have a look. No sound, as with a lot of these old NASA tapes. You can see the size of the craft, the scale issue, in relation to the size of the moon. Ridiculous. Now hang on, Level Earth Observer. Are you seriously doing this? I think either he's not seen all of this footage or he's being a little bit dishonest. Let me show you a clip that directly precedes what he's showing us. You can quite clearly see that the lunar lander is in orbit still, well away from the moon's surface. The command module orbited the moon at an altitude of around 69 miles, and that lunar lander does not look too far away from the command module at this point. Now, either LEO knows this and he's trying to trick you all, or he's not seen the first part of this footage. There is no scale issue here at all. The lunar lander is a lot closer to the camera than it appears to be. Really, really bad scaling there, guys. 
like I said we know they use models been caught out many times of course I use the brand name Airfix because it's a British thing from back in the 70s just to mock it really because they weren't exactly great models anyway and neither are NASA stuff and we're going to see in a minute this model malfunction as it supposedly returns to them from the moon but as we can see before it's even got there it's got scale issues this stuff has aged terribly bear with me now I want to believe that he's not seen that footage where the lunar lander is directly in front of the moon I really do but he may be being slightly dishonest here let's see this model malfunction shall we if you thought that was bad with the scale issues of the model in relation to the moon of the first clip wait till you see the second clip here this is the LEM same craft supposedly returning from the moon here problem is as it gets close to the so-called lunar orbiter it has a bit of a model malfunction and the satellite as we can see bottom right I pointed out here with the arrow breaks either the super glue or the sticky tape holding this model together breaks under pantomime like conditions so let's have a look like I say pay particular attention bottom right to the satellite it's gonna snap break as we have a model malfunction get ready whoops and again oops now that is a steerable S-band dish which can be controlled by the astronauts inside the LEM. That one's used to communicate with Earth. Now at that exact point, the astronauts freed it from its fixed position, which is why you see it oscillate like that. Now this particular dish was a bit of a pain in the bum for NASA because during Apollo 16, it became stuck and they couldn't move it at all. Sea level Earth observer, quite an easy explanation there. So if it's a, as if the scale issues weren't bad enough in relation to the model Lem supposedly landed on the moon. Um, like I said, the craft was gigantic in comparison to the moon. If that wasn't bad enough, and if the footage wasn't bad enough for itself, then we've only got to look at this craft when it's supposedly returned. It has a model malfunction. Who would have thought? One last time. Here it comes. Clearly ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Ridiculous that you don't understand how these things would behave in the conditions of space and then claim that it's a model. I'm not content with trying to say that the moon landings were fake. Level Earth Observer has also tried to have a pop at the International Space Station this week too. Let's have a look. So we've got this short clip from the International Space Station. Now, they, they can't make it any more obvious for you. Your biases are holding you back. If you still believe in this, Tosh, look at this. Hello, and welcome to the toilet of the International Space Station. Let's say you're up here on ISS and you need to go to the restroom. You want to come to this cabin, and the first thing you want to do is just look at how that hose behaves when she's holding it. There's no way that this is on Earth. Grab this piece of equipment and turn this rotary switch 90 degrees to the open position. What that does is it turns on a fan, which creates a suction effect in this hose so that you can use this yellow element for your number one. Now, that sounds wonderful, my dear. You highlight in this incredible technology on your space station. The problem is here, you requiring a suction device for your number one poses a bit of a problem. Where is he going with this? For all he has. Because if you require a suction device for your number one to go down the tube and you're in this weightless environment, how are you digesting any kind of food? Level Earth Observer has well and truly messed this one up. What a ridiculous statement to make. Let's let him elaborate a bit before we put him straight. What suction device are you using for your body to align itself and have its vector with its food go downwards if you haven't got a suction machine and yet you're highlighting that in this environment 
that you're supposedly in, for things to go down, you require a suction machine. The act of swallowing food does not require gravity. It's all done with muscles. And to prove that, all you gotta do is start eating something, do a headstand or put yourself upside down and then swallow. That hose does not have a complex set of muscles to help anything pass down it. So that's why they use the suction. It really isn't that hard. Quite unbelievable that the age that Level Earth Observer is, he still thinks that it's gravity that causes food to go down your throat. Oh, sorry, sorry. I've heard it all now. Oops. Let's continue this tosh anyway. For number two, the principle is actually exactly the same, suction. We have a solid waste container here, and on top of it is this uh, seat. Uh, and the solid waste container is connected via this hose to the same fan, so that, again, the same suction effect allows you to do your number two in weightlessness. I want to show you how it looks, but since we don't want any bad smells uh, to come out, we're going to actually turn on the fan. It's going to be a little bit loud. There we go. Now you can lift the lid. And there is this uh, seat that sort of looks comfortable, but you don't really see it in, in, sit in weightlessness. So uh, most of us actually prefer to lift this one as well and use directly the, the opening that goes into the bag. And in fact, there is a... So... They've got a direct opening that goes into a bag, but she claimed this thing works on suction. What, so the hoovers of old didn't have bags in them? Well, it can't, can it, if it's a bag that your bottom sits over and does his business on. Now, Level Earth Observer is definitely of an age where he used to use vacuum cleaners that had bags in. The concept is not hard to understand. So there's no suction involved. So you've kind of highlighted the fact that this is just a silly prop. It looks like a silly prop anyway. But again, you're stating that you need suction to pull your waste down. What's sucking your food down, my dear? Your muscles in your esophagus, dear. Well, what a mess that video was from Level Earth Observer there. Probably about as messy as the bag in that toilet. Dear, oh dear. Well, that wraps up another Tin Fault Tuesday. And what a Tin Fault Tuesday that one was today. Total, total failure from Level Earth Observer there. Let me know what you think on his performance in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today. It is, of course, as usual, truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel and, of course, hitting that thumbs up button too. Just now, time to once again thank Type AI for sponsoring today's video. Remember, all you've got to do is click my link in the description to get a free trial of the Type AI Premium version. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Debunking Flat Earth Memes video. See you then.